Hi there and welcome to our next video on thermal conductivity. In this video we're going to be looking at what thermal conductivity is and how we can reduce unwanted energy transfer. So first of all what is it? The thermal conductive of a material is a measure of how quickly energy transfers through heating. So we have different sorts of materials and the thermal conductivity of the materials is how quickly energy passes through it when we heat it. The material that has the highest thermal conductivity transfers the energy the quickest and the metal with the lower thermal conductivity transfers energy the slowest and it can be used as a thermal insulator. So materials that have high thermal conductivity this means that the energy goes through the material the quickest and the materials that have a low thermal conductivity means that the energy goes through the material the slowest and this means that it can be used as an insulating material to insulu insulate other things. So how can we reduce unwanted energy transfers? So we can use an insulator because the heat energy which passes through the material is slow and you can use thicker materials because this again creates a bigger insulating layer. So things you can use to insulate a house are these four main things. So you can use a cavity wall. This is the gap between two brick walls and it contains air and has low thermal conductivity than a brick. Um, the cavity wall insulation, this is the gap between bricks that, that is filled with a material that has low thermal conductivity than air. This is so that the um, air can't easily pass through these gaps in the bricks. Loft insulation, this is a thick layer of material with low thermal conductivity again uh, and it reduces the heat transfer through the ceiling. So we have loft insulation above our heads so we don't want air coming in um, to us from above our heads. And finally we have double glazing windows and these allow less energy being released into the house from outside so this is the gap between the two panes of glass containing air or another gas which has a low thermal conductivity than glass so sometimes on your windows you they're just not made of glass they're made of something else as well that that means that they're double glazed and they allow less um thermal conductivity to enter so they they allow less coolness of the house they keep the house fairly warm so those are four ways you can keep your house uh, warm, it can reduce unwanted energy transfer and all of these key four things have low thermal conductivity. In the description box below there's a link to a quiz which you can have a go at. In our next video we're going to be having a look at some exam questions to do with thermal conductivity but for now that is it for this video. Thanks for watching, I hope you liked it and one last thing, please subscribe, hit the like button and the notification bell.